If you pray in this way, nothing will be denied to you. The Little Blue Book Connie Mendez In this video, we are going to discuss about Mrs. Connie Mendez explaining why it seems that sometimes God responds to our prayers, while other times, He does not. I will show you the correct way to pray and how to always receive positive responses from God. Pay close attention. Before undertaking any task, a candidate typically receives instructions or studies the technique required. However, there's one task for which people are often launched blindly, without instructions, technique, or compass, wandering with a purposeless stride, unaware of what they will encounter. That task is life. Humans are thrown into the task of living without knowing the purpose of life, without understanding why some lives unfold amid opulence and satisfaction, while others endure misery and suffering. Some begin with all the advantages affection can conceive, yet calamities pursue them relentlessly. Human beings ponder countless closed conjectures, and their day of death arrives without even glimpsing the truth about it all. Learn the profound truth. What you think manifests. Thoughts are things. Your attitude determines what happens to you. Your own concept shapes not only your body and character, but also your external circumstances, your material conditions. As you heard, thoughts are things. Now you'll see that if you habitually think you have a healthy constitution, you will always be healthy. But if you change your way of thinking and let fear of illnesses take hold, you will begin to fall ill, losing your health. Similarly, if you were born into wealth, it's possible that you will always be rich unless someone convinces you that destiny exists and makes you believe that yours can change according to ups and downs because that's what you're believing. Your life, what happens to you, follows your beliefs and what you express in your words. It's a law, a principle. Do you know what a principle is? It's an invariable law that never fails. This law is called the principle of keep watching until the end of the video to discover the principle and the key to making your prayers effective. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more transformative insights. Mentalism. If in your mind resides the idea that accidents are lurking at every turn, if you believe that the ailments of old age are inevitable, if you are convinced that your good or bad luck, whatever you expect, normally turns out for better or worse, whatever you expect, good or bad, that is the condition you will witness manifesting in your life and everything you do. This is the reason behind everything that happens to you. We are seldom aware of the ideas filling our minds, and they form according to what we are taught or hear others say. As most people are ignorant of the laws that govern life, laws called the laws of creation, we often shape our lives by the ignorance of these laws, creating circumstances contrary to what we desire, turning something that could have been good into bad, stumbling around blindly without a compass or rudder, attributing our misfortunes to life itself and learning from blows and setbacks, or attributing them to the will of God. With what you have heard so far, you will have realized that humans are not what they have been made to believe, that they are like a cork tossed around in a storm. Instead, their life, their world, their circumstances, everything they read and everything that happens to them are their own creations and no one else's. Your entire life is your own creation. They are the kings of their empire and if their opinion is that they are nothing but a cork tossed around in a storm, that's how it will be because they believed it and allowed it. To be born with free will means having been created with the individual right to choose, to choose what to think, negatively or positively, to be pessimistic or optimistic in mind, thinking of the ugly and the bad, which produces more ugliness and badness, or thinking of the good and the beautiful, which produces good and beauty, either on the outside or inside. Metaphysics has always taught that what we often think goes into the subconscious and settles there, acting like a reflection. Modern psychology has finally discovered that what you think turns into reality. When a human finds themselves entangled in the effects of their ignorance, meaning they have caused a calamity themselves, they turn to God and plead to be freed from suffering. The man sees that God sometimes listens and other times inexplicably doesn't. In the latter case, his relatives console him by saying, you must resign yourself to God's will, resigning to God's will. 
That is, everyone assumes that the Creator's will is bad, but in reality, God always listens to our innermost desires. We are responsible for our lives through our thoughts and beliefs. So keep watching until the end of the video to learn how to harness the power of your mind and create the life you truly desire. Now, listen carefully and discover the incredible potential within you to shape your destiny. At the same time, religion teaches that God is our loving Father, full of love, kindness, mercy, infinite wisdom, and eternal. Can you see the inconsistency between these two theories? Does it make sense to believe that a loving and infinitely wise father could feel and express ill will towards his children? We mortal fathers and mothers would never be capable of condemning any of our children to the crimes we attribute to God. We would not be able to sentence any of our own offspring to eternal fire for a natural fault of their mortal condition, yet we consider that God is capable of doing so. In other words, without even realizing it, we are attributing to God a nature of a capricious, vengeful magnate, full of ill will, eager to punish us beyond any proportion at the slightest transgression. It is natural to think this way because we are born and live ignorant of the basic rules and laws of life. As we said, the reason for our calamities is that we create them with our thoughts. This is why we are made in the image and likeness of the Creator. We are creators. Each one of us creates their own manifestation. Now why does it seem like God sometimes listens and other times doesn't? You will see, prayer is the purest and highest thought one can think. It is polarizing the mind in the highest degree of positivity. Vibrations of light we send out when we pray, that is, when we think of God. These vibrations must instantly transform all the dark conditions that surround us, just like bringing a lamp into a dark room. Whenever someone is crying and thinks and believes that the God they are praying to is a loving father who wishes to give all good things to his child, in that case, God always listens. But generally, humanity has the habit of asking like this, Oh God, get me out of this trouble. And then they assume God must think that it's not good for them because he wants to impose a test on them. In other words, they deny any possibility of receiving help. They have more faith in the God they were taught about. A capricious, vengeful, ill-willed God, always watching for us to commit the first transgression to inflict us with cruel punishment. So the one who asks in this manner only receives according to their own image of God. It's as simple as I tell you. Now never forget that God's will for you is goodness, health, peace, happiness, well-being, and all the good that the Creator has made. He is neither the judge, nor the police, nor the executioner, nor the tyrant that you've been made to believe. The truth is that he has created seven laws, seven principles that function in everything and always. These laws never rest for a single minute. They are responsible for maintaining order and harmony throughout creation. In the spiritual realm, there is no need for police. If you don't abide by the law, you punish yourself. What you think manifests in a way that teaches you to think correctly and in accordance with the law, so that all the good that God desires for you may manifest. St. Paul said that God is closer to us than our feet and hands, even closer than our own breath. So, there's no need to shout for Him to hear us. Just by thinking of Him, He begins to mend what appears to be broken. He created us. He knows us better than we know ourselves understanding why we act in this or that way. He doesn't expect us to behave like saints when we are still learning to walk in the spiritual life. I beg you not to believe anything I say without first testing it all. It is your divine right, your sovereign right. Don't do as you have done so far, just accepting everything you hear and see without giving yourself the opportunity to judge between good and evil. Now that you know, don't forget and apply the three main teachings you saw in this video. First, your thoughts are things, and they manifest on the outside. How you think determines how your life will be. Second, God's will is your own will. In your world, you have the free will to think as you wish. Choose the good, choose the beautiful, and the good and beautiful will pursue you. Third, never think that God is capricious and vengeful, waiting for you to make mistakes to punish you. God is love and principle, and if you understand and apply His laws, he will never deny you what you truly desire from the depths of your heart. 
Now that you know, dare to live according to the highest vision of yourself, filled with love, health, prosperity, harmony, and wisdom. Keep watching until the end of the video to discover the profound impact of applying these principles in your life. Now listen carefully and embrace the power you have within to create the life you desire and deserve. And that concludes our journey into the fascinating world of the Law of Attraction. Thank you for watching. To the receive a very powerful ancient technique to attract abundance, visit the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe.